My name is Claire. But in Tanzania they call me Clara. Lakini huko Tanzania wananiita Clara. So you can call me Clara. Kwa hiyo mnaweza mkaniita tu Clara. I very much like my Tanzanian name. Ninapenda sana jina langu la Kitanzania. As you heard from Bishop Eric. Kama mlivyosikia kutoka katika kwa Askof Eric. I'm from England. Nimetokea England. But 4 years ago. Lakini miaka 4 iliyopita. God called me to the nation of Australia. Mungu aliniita katika taifa la Australia. But I want to tell you something today. Lakini nataka niwaambie kitu leo. God spoke to me about the nations of Africa about 10 years ago. Mungu alizungumza na mimi kwa habari ya taifa kwa habari ya Afrika miaka 10 iliyopita. God burned in me a love for the African people for the whole continent. Mungu akaweka kitu ndani yangu kwa ajili ya bala zima la Afrika. When I was only saved for 2 years. Na wakati nilikuwa tu nime kombolewa kwa miaka miwili. My pastor he said to me, "Do you know evangelist Reinhard Bonke?" Na mchungaji wangu akaniambia, "Unamjua mwinjilist Bonke?" And I said, "No, who is this man?" Na mimi nikasema, "Hapana, ni nani mtu huyu?" And so I went home and I looked on the internet and I looked up who is this evangelist Bonke? Kwa nikaenda nyumbani na nikaanda ku search katika internet ili nijue kwamba huyu mwinjilist Bonke ni nani. And I saw this video on YouTube. Na nikaona hii video katika YouTube. And on this video I saw multitudes of people. Na katika hii video nikaona watu wengi sana. Hundreds and thousands and millions of people. Mamia na maelfu na mamilioni ya watu. Gathered together. Walikuwa pamoja. And I saw evangelist Bonke. Na nikamuona mwinjilisti Bonke. And he stood on that stage. Na akiwa amesimama katika madhabahu. And he preached the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Na akiwa akihubiri injili ya utukufu wa Yesu. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And when I saw this, na nilipoona hiki, I started weeping. Nikaanza kulia. And I said, how is this happening? Nikasema inawezekanaje? And how do people know this watu wanajuaje kuhusu hili i so i just told everyone i knew kwa nikaanza kumuita kila mtu ambaye nilikuwa namjua i said god is on the move in africa na nikamwambia kwamba watu kama mungu anatembea africa god loves the african continent mungu analipenda bara la africa hallelujah hallelujah and he is not finished he is not finished na hajamaliza kazi yake Jesus is on the move here in Tanzania. Yesu yupo anatembea hapa Tanzania. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He has chosen this nation. Anapenda hili taifa. For this time. Kwa wakati huu. For now. Sasa. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Amen. So when I had this vision, kwa nilipoona haya maono, when I saw this video, nilipoona pia hizi video, I said God send me. Nikamwambia Bwana nitume. Like we were singing with that song. Wakati tunaimba ule wimbo. My my uh, Rama Rafiki here. Rafiki yangu hapa. She's a, she's translating for me. Nikaa mtafsiria ule wimbo wa nitume na. And she said this song is saying send me. Na kaniambia kwamba huu wimbo ni mzuri. Who will go? Nani atakaye enda? Wave at me. Will you go for Jesus? Je, yeah, wewe utaenda? Will you listen to the call of God on your life? Je, yeah, utasikiliza wito wa Mungu katika maisha yako? I heard the Lord say what you are doing here is not a small thing. Nataka niwaambie kwamba unachokifanya hapa si jambo dogo. In the eyes of Jesus. Mbele ya macho ya Yesu. He sees every single soul here in Dar es Salaam. Anaona kila nafsi iliyopo hapa Dar es Salaam. He sees the pain of those that don't know him. Anaona maumivu ya wale ambao hawajamjua bado. His heart 
heart is breaking. Moyo wake unaumia. And he needs willing people to Na, go for him. Na anahitaji watu walioko tayari. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So evangelist Reinhard Bonke. Kwa hiyo huyu mwinjilist Bonke. Many of you have heard of him. Many of you know this man. But I want to tell you a bit about his story. So Evangelist Bonke, he was a young missionary evangelist from Germany. And he moved to Lesotho, a small a small country. Na alikuwa akiishi katika mji mdogo sana. You probably know it much better than me. Um naweza mkao mnajua sana kuliko hata mimi ninavyojua. In the middle of South Africa. Katika kule nchi za kusini. And he had a vision. Na akaona maono. He had a vision to see Africa change. Akaona maono kwamba Afrika inabadilika. And he was preaching the gospel. Na aliona kwamba akihubili injili. But he did not see many people give their lives to Jesus. Lakini hakuona watu wengi wakimpa maisha Yesu. But something happened. Lakini kuna kitu kilitokea. God spoke to him. Mungu akazungumza na mwinjilist Bonke. And he had a dream in the night. Na akaona maono nyakati za usiku. This dream is very famous. In haya maono ni maarufu sana. As he was sleeping. Alivyokuwa amelala. He saw the nation at the continent of Africa. Aliliona bala la Africa. And he saw the blood of Jesus wash over the continent of Africa. Na akaona damu ya Yesu ikisafisha bala lote la Africa. From south to north. Kutokea kusini kwenda juu. From west to east. Kutokea mashariki kwenda magharibi. And he heard the Holy Spirit. Na akamsikia Roho Mtakatifu. Africa shall be saved. Akasema kwamba watu lazima wakombolewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Africa shall be saved. Africa lazima ikombolewe. Africa shall be saved. Africa lazima ikombolewe. From Cape Town to Cairo. Kuanzia Cape Town to Cairo. From south to north. Kuanzia kusini to magharibi. From west to east. Kuanzia mashariki to magharibi. And Bonki said, "Wow!" Na Bonki akasema, "Wow!" But something happened. Lakini kuna kitu kilitokea. The next night, usiku uliofuata, he went to sleep. Akaenda kulala tena. He had the same dream. Akayaona maono yale yale. The next night, na usiku uliofuata, he went to bed. Akaenda kulala. He had the same dream. Akayaona maono yale yale. The fourth night, na usiku wa nne, he went to bed. Akaenda tena kulala. He had the same dream. Akaona maono yale yale. Four nights, usiku nne, Africa shall be saved. Africa lazima iokolewe. 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 Sema hallelujah. Sema hallelujah. Jesus. Yesu. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. So Rhino Evangelist Bonke. Kwa hiyo mwinjilist Bonke. He said I am but a young man. Akasema mimi ni kijana mdogo sana. And he prayed. Na akaomba. And he gave his life for the gospel of Jesus. Na akayatoa maisha yake kwa ajili ya injili ya Yesu. And he traveled the continent of Africa. Na akatembea katika bara la Afrika. And he preached the gospel. Na akahubili injili. And in his life. Katika maisha yake. He saw 80 million people give their Aliona, life to Jesus. Aliona watu milioni 8, milioni 80 wakimpa Yesu maisha yao. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 80 million people. Milioni 80 ya watu. So evangelist Bonke. Kwa hiyo mwinjilist Bonke. He lived with a burden to carry the gospel of Jesus. Aliishi kwa kubeba injili ya Yesu. But he knew he had heard from God. Kwa sababu alijua, alisikia kutoka kwa Mungu. That he when he was to pass away from this life. Na alisikia sauti ya Mungu kwamba atakapokufa. He did not want this vision to die. Hataki haya maono yafe. He knew that 
that the mission must go on. Alijua kwamba hii mission lazima iendelee. Because Jesus is not finished. Kwa sababu Mungu Yesu Jesus has not finished in Africa. Kwa sababu Yesu bado hajamaliza kazi yake Africa. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It is just the beginning. Ni mwanzo tu bado. And so evangelist Bonke. Kwa hiyo sasa mwinjilist Bonke. About uh, many years ago. Miaka mingi iliyopita. He was looking for a man of God. Akawa anatafuta mtumishi wa Mungu. To take over the mission. Atakayechukua nafasi ya haya maono. And he he saw a man called Evangelist Kalenda. Na akamuona mtu ambaye ni mwinjilist Komenda. And Evangelist Kalenda was but a young man. Na wakati huo mwinjilist Kalenda alikuwa ni kijana mdogo. But God spoke to him and said this is the man. Lakini Mungu akazungumza na mwinjilist Bonke kwamba huyu ndiye ninayemtaka. This is the man that will carry on the vision. Huyu ndiye mtu atakayebeba maono. And so for 12 years. Kwa hiyo sasa kwa miaka 12 Evangelist Kalenda has been carrying this vision. Mwinjilist Kalenda amekuwa kiabeba haya maono. He has been traveling the continent of Africa. Amekuwa akisafiri katika bara la Afrika. Preaching the gospel. Na kuhubiri injili. Praying for the sick. Na kuombea wagonjwa. Casting out demons. Na kutoa mapepo. And hundreds of thousands and millions have given their life to Jesus. Na watu wengi mamilioni ya watu walimpa Yesu maisha yao. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Lord spoke to Evangelist Bonke. Mungu akazungumza na mwinjilisti Bonke. And he said the anointed must be appointed. Watu waliopakwa mafuta lazima wachaguliwe. And I had the blessing in 2017. Na nikapata baraka katika mwaka 2013. I was in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. Nilikuwa Lagos, Nigeria. And this was Evangelist Bonke last crusade in Africa. Na hii huu ulikuwa ni mkutano wa mwinjilisti Bonke wa mwisho hapa Africa. I had the honor of being a guest there. Na nilikuwa nilipata heshima ya kubarikiwa naye. And just like you are sitting here today. Na kama ambavyo mmekaa hapa leo. I was sitting at the front. Na mimi nilikuwa nimekaa mbele. And I was watching Evangelist Bonke preach. Na nilikuwa nikimuona mwinjilist Bonke akihubili. And I looked out upon the multitudes. Na kulikuwa na watu wengi sana. And I saw thousands of hands go up to receive Jesus. Na niliwaona maelfu ya watu wakimpokea Yesu. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I saw many 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 great healings. Niliona watu wengi 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 wakiponywa. And that that crusade. Na katika huo mkutano, Evangelist Bonke. Mwinjilist Bonke. He prayed for Evangelist Kalenda. Alimwombea Mwinjilist Kalenda. He commissioned him. Ya yeah, alimwombea na akamtuma akampa yale maono. To carry on this vision. Akamtuma kubeba yale maono ya Mwinjilist Bonke. Hallelujah. 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 And Evangelist Kalenda. Na Mwinjilist Kalenda. He would love to be here today. Na alitamani kuwepo hapa leo. He very much loves the nation of Tanzania. Ni anapenda sana taifa la Tanzania. He is praying for us. Anatuombea. He is praying for Dar es Salaam. Anaiombea Tanzania. He will be at each one of these gospel campaigns. Na atakuja katika mkutano utakaofanyika. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The gospel will be preached. Injili itahubiliwa. And people will get saved. Na watu wataokolewa. And people will get delivered. Na watu watakombolewa. And people will get healed. Na watu wataponywa. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Dar es Salaam will be shaken for the gospel. Dar es Salaam itasimama kwa ajili ya injili. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So Bonki he lived with this this urgency to pass on what he had been given by God. Na Bonke akawa anataka kile ambacho alipewa na Mungu kiendelee mbele. And he had another dream. Kwa hiyo aliona maono mengine. He was in Germany. Alikuwa German. He was doing a conference with Evangelist Kalenda. Alikuwa katika um, kongamano na Mwinjilist Kalenda. And in the night he saw a, a conversation happening. Na nyakati za usiku aliona maono a uh, watu wakiwa wanazungumza He saw two people talking Aliona watu wawili wakiwa wanazungumza And they were talking about things 
that were happening in the world. Na walikuwa wanazungumza kwa habari ya mambo yaliyokuwa yanaendelea hapa duniani. And he heard something that he remembered. Na akasikia kitu ambacho alikikumbuka. He heard them saying what happened to evangelist Bonki. Na wale watu walizungumza wakawa wanasema nini kimetokea kwa mwinjisti Bonke? The dream was far into the future. Yale maono yalikuwa ni kama ya baadaye huko. And Bonki heard their answer. Na Bonke akasikia majibu. Do you want to know what they said? Unataka kujua nini walichokuwa wakisema? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, yule mwingine akasema, Bonke, Bonke was just the forerunner. Alikuwa tu mstari wa mbele. Of a whole generation. Katika kizazi chote. Of holy spirits. Sa roho mtakatifu. Filled evangelists. Kilichojawa na waijilisti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a generation waiting to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Sisi ni kizazi tunachosubiri kujazwa kwa nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It is not about evangelist Bonke. Sio kwa ajili ya evangelist Bonke. It is not about evangelist Kalenda. Wala sio kwa ajili ya mwinjilist Kalenda. It is not about evangelist Clara. Wala sio kwa ajili ya mwinjilist Clara. This is the mission of Jesus Christ. Hii ni maono ya Yesu Kristo. He told Evangelist Kalenda. Akamwambia Mwinjilist Kalenda. And Evangelist Kalenda knew that he had to pass this on. Na Mwinjilist Kalenda alijua kwamba labidi abebe haya. That it was not just for Evangelist Kalenda. Kwa sababu haikuwa tu kwa ajili ya Mwinjilist Kalenda. Not just for one man. Haikuwa kwa ajili ya mtu mmoja. So he started a training. Kwa hiyo akaanzisha mafunzo. And he called this training Evangelism Boot Camp. Na akayaita haya mafunzo ya uinjilisti ya kujengwa kwa wainjilisti and i had the blessing to be personally trained na mimi nikawa nikabarikiwa kuwa miongoni wa wale waliokuwa wanafunzwa alongside hundreds of evangelists pamoja na mamia ya wainjilisti evangelist kalenda he has taught us what he has learned from evangelist bonke na Mwinjilist Kolenda akatufundisha kile ambacho alifundishwa na Mwinjilist Bonke. I was there in January this year in America. Nilikuwa kule Marekani January mwaka huu. Having this training. Nilikiwa ninapata hayo mafunzo. And now I have been launched into the nation of Tanzania. Na sasa hivi nimetumwa katika taifa la Tanzania. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Tanzania burns in my heart. Tanzania ipo ndani yangu. The people here I love. Watu wako hapa wana upendo. You have become family to me. Mmekuwa familia kwangu. I love you so much. Ninawapenda sana. Asante. Asante sana for making me feel karibu. <laughs> Asante sana kwa kunifanya nijisikie vizuri. But I want to come to you today. I want to come to you today with a vision. This vision that I'm coming with you today. Oh, lakini nakuja 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 kwenu na haya maono. I want the Holy Spirit to burn it in your heart. Nataka Roho Mtakatifu aichome mioyo yenu. I want you to know what what God is doing through Sifan. Nataka mjue nini kile Mungu anafanya kupitia Sifa. It is about not just Sifan. Well, it is not just about Sifan. Kwa sababu si tu kwa ajili ya Sifa. As Bishop Eric said. Kama Askof Eric alivyosema. This is about all of us together. He inatuhusu sisi wote. We will not see Dar es Salaam shaken. Hatutoona Dar es Salaam ikitikiswa. If we do not unite together. Kama hatutoshikamana kwa pamoja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to put aside our differences. Inabidi tuweke pembeni tofauti zetu. And we need to unite under Jesus. Na kushikamana katika Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I felt the Lord speak to me. Nilisikia Mungu akizungumza na mimi. As as you were introducing the committees. Wakati ambao mlikuwa mnatambulisha kamati. I know that this meeting has taken a lot of hard work to happen. Najua um 
mkutano huu umechukua nguvu kubwa sana ili kutokea I know that it's taken time Najua kwamba imechukua muda I know that you are very busy people. Najua kwamba ni ni watu wenye mambo mengi. And I know what we are asking is not a small thing. What we are asking for this Na crusade, ni ninachoomba kwenu sio jambo dogo. This is a big thing. Hili ni jambo kubwa. But I felt the Lord say something. Lakini nilisikia Roho Mtakatifu akisema kitu. As you stood up. Mliposimama. The Lord he said to me. Mungu akasema I see your faithfulness. Ni nimeuona uaminifu wenu. I see your heart. Nimeona mioyo yenu. He sees all you are doing. Anajua yote mnayoyafanya. And all of heaven is cheering you on. The whole of heaven is cheering for you. Na mbingu inawafurahia nini nyote. The great cloud of witnesses. Kwa makubwa ambayo mnayafanya. They are cheering for us. Mbingu inawafurahia. They are saying no. Now is the time. Na inasema kwamba huu ndio muda. Now is the time for Dar es Salaam. Sasa ndio muda kwa ajili ya Dar es Salaam. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a not a small thing. Hili si jambo dogo. But we have a big God. Lakini tunaye Mungu mkubwa. I want to come to you humbly today. Kwa hiyo ninataka nije kwenu kwa unyenyekevu sana leo. I want you to pray to the Lord about this crusade. Nataka tuombe mbele za Bwana kwa ajili ya huu mkutano. I want you to pray that the Lord will fill your heart. Nataka tuombe kwamba Bwana haujaze mioyo yenu. With love for your brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers. Kwa upendo kwa ajili ya wakaka na dada wengine. That Jesus would fill you with the urgency for the gospel to be preached kwamba Mungu awajaze kwa haraka ya kuhubili injili. We do not know when this life will pass away. Hatujui maisha haya yataisha lini. There is great urgency. Kuna uharaka sana. There are people perishing every day. Kuna watu wanapotea kila siku. The gospel must be preached. Lakini injili lazima ihubiliwe. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I want to thank you for all your hard work so far. Nataka niwashukuru kwa kazi mliyofanya. I want to thank the bishops and the pastors and everyone here for all you are doing. Nataka nishukuru wachungaji na maaskofu kwa kila mnachokifanya. I know that you are working so hard for the glory of God right now. Najua mnafanya kazi kwa bidii sana kwa ajili ya utukufu wa Mungu. And he sees your heart. Na anaona mioyo yenu. And he loves you. Na anawapenda. And he is for you. Na yupo kwa ajili yenu. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu.